Education system, we're going to have to watch it. President Obama's new mental awareness program, $200 million, is going to be poured into schools. Teachers are going to get 12-hour courses, PowerPoint presentations on how to spot mental illness, which means there's going to be a lot of kids diagnosed with mental illness. It's the AWARE program, comes out of Australia. Um, I talk to qualified psychiatrists about this, and they say that's nuts. They use the word nuts. You can't take a 12-hour PowerPoint observation and detect mental illness. Well, you might. I mean, we, I, you know, I run into kind of crazy people occasionally. But kids sitting in school are going to, are going to be uh, they're going to be pushing a lot of drugs on them. To me, the basic uh, puppeteers behind all this is the pharmaceutical industry, which, by the way, whenever we file a lawsuit, I usually research the statutes or the laws that you're dealing with with the government, and I have yet to find a law that wasn't passed by some lobbyist or corporation to make money. So that's the lay of the land. You have to get educated. Education precedes action. And I hope that you know these might open some doors in your head, your mind. I go to our website, I write a weekly column just to keep people alert on what's going on. It's getting worse. Some areas of, of civil rights problems that we have to deal with. One is the Baker Act. It, probably a week doesn't go by, I don't get called locally for Baker Act situations. Uh, a lot of children, of our children get stressed. They have high anxiety levels, so they get stressed. And when they get stressed, their, their ability to speak goes down, their ability to use language. And so, and you know, if you think about it, it happens, it can happen to us. Have you heard people say, I was so scared, I was speechless? It's a scientific fact. That as we, as our, our anxiety levels go up, as our fear goes up, our ability to use language goes down. So even a child who speaks well, if they, if they become excited and, and anxious in school, the language goes down, they're frustrated, they're hurting, they want somebody to help them, and they say, I'm gonna kill myself. Instead of hearing, you've got a, a, you've got a child who wants you to give her some attention or him some attention, you wanna bring this anxiety level down, you wanna make them feel comfortable, you want to inform the parents, I mean, wouldn't that be a good idea? Inform the parents that this is going on. Instead, they call the police, and the police come, and they have nothing else to do other than put these children in handcuffs. And I don't care what age the child is. They will put them in handcuffs. They will take them out of the school in handcuffs in front of all their peers, and they will put them in a police car. I literally had a, a, a phone call uh, while it was going on, they did call the parents, but by the time the parents got there, their little girl was in handcuffs, being uh, she was autistic. Mm. And she was being put in a police car, and as the parents got out of their car, the policeman, and I could hear it, I was on the phone. The policeman said, you get back in your car, or I'm gonna put you under arrest. And they had to watch these policemen take their little girl away.